Welcome to this how-to video on creating control charts. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. A control chart is used to establish if variation in a measurement is within acceptable bounds, usually determined by the standard deviation. Control charts are most often done with time series data. Control charts are more complex than some other chart types in Tableau because we have to write a couple calculations. To start, we need to establish the upper bound and lower bound of what is considered in control. This will be determined by the standard deviation and a parameter, which will allow the end user to select how many standard deviations from average they like the cutoff to be. First, we'll build the parameter. Right click in the data pane and select Create Parameter. We'll name it Standard Deviations, and for data type, we'll choose Integer. Allowable values will be List, and we'll enter 1, 2, and 3. Second, we'll build a calculation for the lower bound. Right click and create calculated field. We'll name it lower bound and enter our calculation. This says, take the average of the marks in the view, that's the window average of the sum of profit part, and subtract the standard deviation, calculated by the window standard deviation of sum of profit, times whatever multiplier is selected in the parameter. A quick note on window functions. We use these because we want to capture the average profit and average standard deviation in the view, not in the underlying data. We'll repeat this for the upper bound. Right-click, select Create Calculated Field, we'll name it Upper Bound, and enter a very similar calculation. The only difference here is that it's now plus instead of minus. Third, we'll create a calculation to tell us if a given mark is outside of the bounds, which is out of control. Right-click and select Create Calculated Field, and we'll name it Outliers. We'll enter our formula, which determines for each mark in the view, which is the monthly sum of profit, if it's below the lower bound or above the upper bound. Now that we have these pieces, let's assemble the view and build our control chart. We'll bring measure values to rows and keep only the upper and lower bounds. We see our nice lines. We'll right click on the measure values pill and select dual axis. Right-click on the right-hand axis and select Synchronize Axis. Then again, and uncheck Show Header. Next, click on the Sum of Profits Marks card and bring Outliers to Color. Finally, right-click on the parameter and select Show Parameter Control. If we want to do some formatting, we can edit the colors so that gray is false and red is true. Click color again and choose the option to show the marks themselves. If we play with the parameter, we can see that for two standard deviations, only three marks are out of control. In summary, to build a control chart, we need to establish the upper and lower bounds and a calculation to determine if a given mark is outside of those bounds. Thank you for watching this how-to video on control charts. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.